Hey gang, Tom from Enduro Wiki here. I'm going to talk to you about the 2024 Beta 300RR Race Edition. Our friends down at Evo Suspensions have hooked us up and done some suspension trickery and got us revalved and a bunch of little things changed. We're going to talk to you about what they've done here and what we recommend for riding hard Enduro or soft Enduro, whichever you like to ride. So we're just down here at Burma, doing a little bit of grass track playing and then a little bit of woods and hard enduro playing, just seeing how we think the suspension setup changes from Evo ended up being. I have to say, hands down, it's a night and day difference. I thought the suspension was good before. They said they can make it better, and boy, did they deliver. This suspension is right out of the box amazing. Uh, the sacks were no, no real complaints on from the and 17 uh, but there were some limitations but these KYBs are very very tunable Wow is this thing a tractor amazing how well that it just hooks like up effortless. and grabs uh, it makes a lot of the riding as yeah. I said they're effortless. The downhills are something that I always had a little bit of concern with, uh, just with how much compression and stuff was happening with the front end. I'm a real chicken when it comes to going downhill, um, as you can usually see I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, but up and down, the suspension is just tracking really nice. They always say it's, it's hard to go slow, so I spent the day trying to go as slow as I could. I don't usually ride as slow in most of these sections. Usually I let inertia do a lot of the work, but today I was just really blown away by how well uh, the suspension that people can greasy. really put out. I noticed right off the bat, um, when you come up to obstacles and you're going into corners and stuff like that, usually you start to hesitate. Um, and you're, you're, I death grip, I grab the bars really tight, really hard, and I just assume that I'm getting twitchy. Um, I'm just, you know, having a little bit of jitters or something that's translating into the bars. I noticed that that must have been actually a real scenario happening on my bike's previous. Uh, I really notice how solid and stable and planet this bike now feels going into corners like this. And it just feels a lot more responsive since they really, really changed a lot of the valving. What we asked for was a setup that was better for hard Enduro more than motocross. So if I come off of something big, yes, I'm going to probably bottom things out. Um, it gets a lot more plush when you set stuff up for this, but a lot of the times what you're doing is is you're asking that front end to, you know, take a heck of a, a, a force up in driven into it, and that's really where a lot of 
plush suspension will start to save things and save you know, your wrists, your back, all that stuff. So the setup that we had them do, we had them respring it for my weight, currently right around 240, 250, somewhere in there with all my riding gear on. A bigger dude, 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, six, um, so having it resprung and set up correctly right off out of the gate was just a complete game changer for us here. Um, I really think this bike is going to perform even better as I start to dial and tune things in. Uh, the day we had was just kind of just putting around. I want to put two or three more rides on it. We will talk more about what I think of the suspension as things break in. They changed the uh, fork blowers with a different plated system. It's going to be a lot harder, they said, of a coating that will stand up to all of the grime and grit and nonsense that's going to get thrown at it. Um, as you can see through some of this stuff here, the winding twisties, it really makes a, oh, it's a pretty wet day out. Everything was pretty greasy, but it really makes a lot, lot smoother of a ride when you're pushing and pulling on these bars. The rear shock is very noticeably different. I'm not sure exactly what all they changed. I mean, obviously the recipes are different from shop to shop uh, with what they call a hard enduro setup. Um, but for for where it's at, Evo has been absolutely number one on my list for suspension shops. They really get and understand what we do as riders. Uh, I talked to Logan down there and he was my main guy that I went and talked a little bit of what my kind of riding style was, what kind of terrain and conditions. And Pennsylvania is a really unique area. We have a lot of, uh, small, as you can see here, a lot of small rock, a lot of medium-sized rock. And just to break it up, we have a lot of big rock too. So, <laughs> but then you, you never know, you're, you're in this slick, greasy stuff as well. So what works in one area may not work in another, but PA needs to be a pretty much all around good suspension tune as far as just a little bit of everything. So having said that, I don't really have any regrets so far. I very much recommend Evo Industries if you're looking for suspension work. Definitely give them a call. We highly, highly recommend them. And we will definitely, definitely show you guys some more in the future.